Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Twilight Forest mod in Minecraft 1.16.5. It has finally updated to 1.16.5 after so long of only being available for 1.12. It's insane. Like, I, I didn't know if we would ever see this mod updated, but here it is today, and we're doing a video on how to install it. So, this is a really, really cool mod. It adds in an entirely new dimension called the Twilight Forest, and there you'll find dungeons and dragons and all sorts of stuff. I mean, not, not necessarily dragons, but you'll find all sorts of different mythical custom creatures. As you can see, boss battles with elaborate mechanics. Like, it's not just as easy as going up and hitting them with a sword to kill these bosses. You have to do different things to weaken them to then kill them. There's loot and unique traits. and It's just truly amazing. Like, absolutely love this mod. It's been around since 2011, and it is one of the, the most well-fleshed out Minecraft mods, but that can make it difficult to update. Finally, though, it is in version 1.16, as you can see, as of one day ago. Now, if you're uh, getting this while it's still in beta, it is going to have some bugs. It is going to be buggy and have issues. That's to be expected. They're working on those bugs every single day. Nevertheless, first and foremost, we do have this from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we also our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, though, you're not here to get a server, you're here to get the Twilight Forest mod, newly updated for 1.16.5, so let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, that's actually going to take you here. This is the Twilight Forest mod. As you can see, this is like the official mod page here for the Twilight Forest mod. Nevertheless, once you're here, come over here towards the right-hand side and scroll down until you see the recent files here, right? So, on the right-hand side, scroll down until you see recent files, and then right here you'll see in Minecraft 1.16. Under that, you'll see Twilight forest dash MC 1.16.5. Go ahead and click the orange download button to the right of that version there. When you click on that, it's going to go ahead and take you off to this page where after a few seconds, Twilight Forest will begin downloading. Wait for it. There it is. The download begins in the bottom left. Now, you will need to keep this file on Google Chrome, so go ahead and click that keep button down there. It's 100% safe. This has been downloaded by 42 million people across its life, so absolutely crazy. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, though, you won't keep it in the bottom left. Instead, you'll save it in the center of your screen, but on Google Chrome, keep it in the bottom left, save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Firefox. There's one more thing we need to download, and that is going to be Forge. Forge is required to run the Twilight Forest mod, just like it's required to run most Minecraft mods, to be honest with you. So you can check out Forge at the third link, third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is actually our in-depth guide for Forge, and if you do have any issues installing Forge, come here, because this video and this article go through all the issues you could have while installing Forge, but it's up to over a million people. It'll probably help you as well. Once you're here, though, just go ahead and scroll down, click on this green download Forge button, and that will take you off to Forge's official website, where, as you can see here, MC 1.0. 16.5 is automatically selected. If it's not for you, click on the left-hand side and click on plus 1.16 and then click on 1.16.5. Then it'll open up and say MC 1.16.5 here where we can then go under download latest and click on this installer button. That's then going to take us off to add focus. Now stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page at all except the red skip button that appears in the top right. Everything in this page is lying to you except the red skip button at the top right. That's the only thing you want to click. Once you click on that red skip button, in the bottom left, it's going to go ahead and start downloading Forge. As you can see, Forge is downloading in the bottom left, and we can go ahead and click Keep down there, as long as it has Forge in the title. If it has Forge in the title, you're safe to click Keep. If it doesn't, click Discard, and click that red skip button in the top right. Again, only click the red skip button in the top right. On Mozilla Firefox, the process is similar, except it's going to open up in the center of your screen, and as long as it has Forge in the title of the file, you're good to save it and move on. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we do have... Forge, and we have Twilight Forest. Now, we're actually going to be starting off with Forge here because you need Forge in order to install Twilight Forest. However, if these aren't on your desktop at all, where are they? Well, they're probably in your downloads folder, and to find that, click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, with that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here, click on that, and then in here you'll find Forge and Twilight Forest. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Like when I right click and click on open with, Java's not there at all. Or these files don't look right. They don't look like these Java logos. Instead, they look like a WinRAR file or something different. Well, here's how to fix both of those issues. The first thing you need to do is download and install Java. This is, of course, linked in the description down below. And this is how to install Java for Minecraft servers, Minecraft mods. Twilight Force is a Minecraft mod, so you need this version of Java for it. Go through this tutorial and it'll help you get that set up. It's very simple. Three steps and you're done. Nevertheless, 
once you've done that, you should be able to right click and open with Forge. However, you may still need to run the jar fix. The jar fix specifically is what's going to allow you to see the correct Java logo on your files, right? So once you run that, you'll be able to see the correct Java logo, and this is also a simple three-step process. So now we can minimize our browser. You've got the Java logos. Most importantly, you can right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Forge system installer, so mod system installer for Forge here, where all you want to do is click on Install Client, and click OK. It's then going to download, do some things, basically do everything it needs to do to get Minecraft Forge installed in 1.16.5. It's, it's literally doing everything. Like, it's going over every step. It's, it's doing it all right now as I speak, as we're watching this video or making this video. It's doing it. It's going through. It's patching. It's doing all this stuff. And there we go. Finally, successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.16.5. Awesome. We can go ahead and click OK here. It's going to close out of that. You can remove Forge from your desktop, delete it. You don't need it anymore. And now let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. Now, for the Minecraft Launcher, don't go hitting that play button. Hold yourself. Wait a minute. It's going to be okay. You got to wait a second. Once you're here, though, what you want to do is click on the little arrow left of the play button, and then you should have a Forge profile. But if you don't have a Forge profile here, or if you do and it doesn't say 1.16.5 dash Forge under it, what you need to do is go up to installations. Once you're in installations, you want to go ahead and click the plus new button. So go ahead and click plus new here. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that's our own incredible server. We have amazing, grief-protected 1.16.5 survival and medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player-based economy. We've also got aquatic survival, which has an awesome slash shop-based economy. And skyblock. It's the best skyblock out there. You will truly love it with quest, custom minions, custom islands. It's amazing. Come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Uh, but nevertheless, once you've got your name in there, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box. We then want to scroll down until we find 1.16.5 dash forge. Now mine's right up here at the top, but you may have to scroll down a ways to find yours, so don't be afraid to do that, but mine's right up here at the top. Nevertheless, I'm also going to change our resolution so we can see in game. You don't have to do that. Then let's go ahead and click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile, and we can hover over it and click the green play button to get forge open. However, if you created a new profile and it's still not there, it may be because you don't have this modded button checked. Notice that we clicked the modded button, both the Forge version and the one we just created appeared. So if modded isn't checked up here in the top right, make sure you check that and then these versions will appear. Finally though, we can go ahead and click the green play button here and when we do that, we're going to get this warning. Don't worry, you know what you're doing, you know you're playing with mods, it's not a big deal. Basically that's what this is stating, that you're playing with mods, it's okay. Go ahead and click the green play button there and now Minecraft 1.16.5 is going to open up with Forge installed. Then it's very simple to install Twilight Forest. Literally the hard part is done. If you've gotten to the point where Minecraft is open with Forge, installing Twilight Forest is super, super easy. As you can see, Forge is loading everything up here. Then it's going to go ahead and reload again and open up Minecraft itself. There it is. There's Minecraft itself opening up. And again, from this point, it's just very, very simple to install. To install Twilight Forest. Like the, 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 the hardest part is getting Forge installed. Once you've got Forge, Twilight Forest is easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut. It's just loading up here. Oh, there we go. I was going to wait until we got to the main menu, but here we are. Now, once you're on the main menu, you want to go ahead and click on this mods button here. So from the Minecraft main menu, click on mods. If you don't have a mods button, you aren't playing with that Forge version or with the Forge installation installed there. Nevertheless, go make sure you play with that. Then you'll have Forge in the bottom left and you'll have a mods button. Go ahead and click on the mods button there. And then you want to go ahead and click on the open mods folder button. What's that going to do is open your mods folder, right? So as you can see, again, that was from the main menu, click on mods, and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Once you have your mods folder open, just take Twilight Forest from your desktop and drag and drop it into this mods folder. It's that easy. Drag and drop Twilight Forest from your desktop into your mods folder. And then when you come back to Minecraft, it's not going to be here. And it's never going to be here. You can click done, you can click mods, it's never going to appear here until you click quit game. Then you want to open up the Minecraft launcher again, but you don't have to do all that complicated stuff this time. All you need to do is click on the little arrow to the left of the play button and select either your Forge profile or or your play.breakdowncraft.com profile, which everyone has 1.16.5 dash forge under it, and then click the green play button. When you do that, Minecraft's gonna open up with Twilight Forest installed. It's that simple and that easy. You actually be able to see, there it is, Twilight Forest. Basically, all that means is that it recognizes it as a mod. Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna open. For example, if this was the wrong version of Twilight Forest, it wouldn't open. And if you do have issues opening up 1.16.5 with Twilight Forest, make sure you have the 1.16.5 version of Twilight Forest. When you click on the file, it should say 1.16.5 on it there. Nevertheless, let's go ahead, let this load on up, and then I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu. Here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu where we have a mod tab again, and we can click on Twilight Forest. 
there we go, right? There's all the information about Twilight Forest, the authors, all of that stuff. Most importantly, though, we want to go ahead and create a new world, and we're going to call it Twilight Forest. I believe we can just load right in, but let's go ahead and check the one thing that might have to change. Yep, we can just go ahead and load right on in to the default world because everything is stored in its own biome. I'm going to make this creative because that makes it easier for me once we get in game to show you all the mod. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut. Oh, experimental settings, not supported, so on and so forth. We want to proceed anyway. If you see this, it's okay. However, because Twilight Forest is in beta, don't use it in any worlds that aren't backed up or that aren't safe. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and proceed and then we'll see you once we get in game. All right, so here here we are in game. We can hit E and then click over and see here is Twilight Forest and all of the blocks it adds in. As you can see, there are a lot of them. Some of them are broken. Again, that is because this is in beta. So expect that there is going to be some broken stuff in here. However, the most important thing that isn't broken is going to be the actual Twilight Forest portal. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a water bucket. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves a Twilight Forest puddle or not puddle, portal. Um, you have to use water to do that. I gotta get make sure I get the right flowers though. It's been a minute since I've done this and I don't know the exact flowers. I think it's gonna be poppy and dandelion. I think that's what we need. So now let's go ahead and put the poppies on all four ends, right like so. Dandelions go in the middle. And then water is going to go in the center of all that, right, like so. And then we need ourselves a diamond to throw in the center. So this is the basis of the Twilight Forest portal or Twilight Forest mod, right? Throw that in, and then that allows it to activate, usually. It seems like I'm doing something a little bit wrong, though. So let me go ahead and troubleshoot this. Maybe it's the wrong flowers. Oh, I see what it is. That's missing. There it is. Okay, the diamond is in there. There we go. So that was missing. Fail. So you have to have all of these in this order for this to work. Now you can go to this portal and go to the Twilight Forest. So now that there is a portal, sorry about that hard jump cut there. For some reason, I thought there was a book you could get that like kind of explained Twilight Forest, but there wasn't. I was thinking of the Tania mod, which I'm doing next after this one. I record all these tutorials kind of back to back. So yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this portal. Boom. And now we are in the Twilight Forest for us to explore. This is like, uh, I don't know, a different dimension, similar to the Nether in some ways, but uh, as you can see, we're just floating off in space. No, I'm kidding. It was just taking a second to load in. That's my bad computer coming through. But nevertheless, as you can see, even these trees, we're already seeing different trees here. These are not default stock Minecraft trees. Instead, they are custom trees. I accidentally opened up the calculator, but these are custom trees here. We've got these huge, huge evergreens, and you can just fly around. There is so much stuff. Maybe if we're lucky, I'll happen upon a boss layer where I can show you some of that, but even, oh, wow, even this over here. Look at this. Just these snow biomes mixed with the ice. We've got an ice cave here, and it wouldn't surprise me if something is hiding down in this ice cave. Maybe. No, it just looks, looks like we got a spawner. This is relatively easy. Um, oh, yes, there we go. An alpha yeti. <laughs> so, as I said, sometimes you have to do special things to kill these mobs, and, uh, I don't think hitting this guy is going to go uh, that far. So nevertheless, really, really cool stuff. And there's just an example of one of the awesome custom mobs that this mod adds in. I mean, like, you don't you don't see that every day, everybody. You don't see that every day. Oh, he's got little minions running around as well. That's awesome. So nevertheless, that is just one example. I mean, there are hundreds of custom mobs in this uh, basically in this mod. Uh, I was going to say mod pack, but it's just a mod, which is even more impressive. We've also got, as you can see here, some sort of like, I would almost call this a monolith, but this is like some sort of structure, and I'm sure there's something going on in that as well. Wow, that is actually really detailed. Look at that, how, how that like fades over. That's impressive. Wow. Props to the, uh, the developer on making something this cool. <laughs> wow. So who knows if there's anything inside of this or anything like that. Oh, there is. So you can actually go inside of this and work your way up, uh, getting rewards along the way, it looks like. Yeah, as you can see, we've got some maze waiver, a ton of Twilight Forest stuff, a firefly. How cool is that? Let's see if there's anything up at the top if we can get up there. But um, yeah, that's kind of that. This is the Twilight Forest mod. There is so much cool stuff. Once you know how to make the portal, that is the hard part. Ooh, we've got a custom sword, the Night Metal sword here. And we've also got an Ender bow, which is really, really cool as well. So as you can see, there's all sorts of custom armor and everything. Ooh, we've got a custom chest plate. Let's go ahead and put that on. Looking good, looking good. Nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and woohoo for Twilight Forest. Oh, there's another place over there that we can go have fun at. It's crazy. Nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, thank goodness Twilight Forest has finally updated to 1.16.5. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.